Now your local weather authority forecast. Clear skies and cold air dominating the basin on this Halloween. This is a live look at Midland early on your Halloween Tuesday morning. Pretty cold out there. Temperatures at or below freezing for many. Crystal clear skies thanks to a high pressure system really in place allowing for the very clear skies, the lighter winds, the drier air in the upper levels of the atmosphere allowing for radiation cooling meaning from the daytime hours yesterday what Ever heat was there yesterday, a little bit, is allowed to escape into space, and we're seeing that this morning. Satellite and radar showing crystal clear skies from west to east, north to south. Some low-level clouds near Terrell County, a little bit warmer in dried and temperatures in the 40s there because of the humidity lingering around and the rain activity because it's warm enough to see rain drifting off the south and the east of our viewing area. Air temperatures at or below freezing for the first time this season for many in the Trans-Pecos from Pecos to Fort something to Big Lake, a freeze warning in effect till 10 a.m. Central Time. Temperatures could get as low as 29. Any crops, plants out there will be dead. It is that time of year getting closer to winter. Winter is coming after all. We're still in fall, but we're feeling like winter this morning. Very clear skies sitting at the freezing mark 32 in Midland at the airport. 96% relative humidity, so low level moisture at the surface, but go about 100 feet up or so and in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Very dry air visibility pretty good at 10 miles. Very calm winds out there. That sun sets at 7 p.m. Allowing for once again those temperatures to drop later this evening. That sun rises at 8.04 this morning, so we got another couple more hours to go before we see the warming effect. So we could be seeing temperatures dropping another degree or two from what we're seeing right now. Upper 20s, low 30s in northern and western areas into the cap rock of the basin along I-20 and I-10. Temperatures at or below freezing. Still a little bit above freezing in Fork Sancton, but we could, again, because they're under a freeze warning with the crystal clear skies, the light winds and dry air drop at or below the freezing mark. 30s and 40s from Presidio to places like dry and eventually warming up into the high 40s, 50s and low 60s. Right around 55 today in the tall city. Yesterday got to 44, average high is 74, so closer to normal, but still well below normal. I think we'll be right around 31 for your morning commute. Make sure you guys bundle up, but quickly warming up throughout the day. 40s by noon, right around 47. Warming up to 54 by 4 p.m. Perhaps you guys are getting ready to go trick-or-treating. Cool, but drier and pretty sunny. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses. Chilly this evening, 8 p.m., 47 degrees. So a less spooky forecast, especially later in the day today. Very sunny and cool at 55 in around Midland and Odessa. Crystal clear skies, again, across our viewing area. Any precipitation and clouds moving south and east of our viewing area. High-level clouds starting to approach back into the basin by tomorrow in Northern New Mexico and the Rio Grande getting closer to the basin, but for many, we'll see the very clear skies overnight as well. Low temperatures in the 30s, light north northeasterly winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, pretty cold out there in the high 20s or 30s. Just like this morning, make sure you guys bundle up tomorrow morning. Getting that sunrise is just after 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. 60 tomorrow, 67 Thursday, back in the 70s and 80s this weekend.